There's lots of big celebrities from around the world doing boxing training, which is fantastic for the sport, but can they really box? Are they doing it correctly? Well, let's take a look, and we're going to start with Kim Kardashian. Mom, can I talk to you for a sec? I'm scared for my life. I don't want to do it. I'm scared for my life. Fall to the floor and just say it's over. <laughs> Even though this is an exhibition for charity, getting in the ring to fight someone else is a very scary thing. Now that advice from a mom? Fall to the floor and just say it's over. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of doing it. Receive the instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect from you? A good, clean fight. It's good they're wearing big gloves for the exhibition, but these are them Everlast plasticky ones. And also they've got the head guard with the bar across the face. This by no means stops the impact and the damage of the punches. It stops you from getting your nose broken but even with these on, you can still feel every punch. She's walking out very slowly there. So Kim is like throwing light punches here. It makes me think she's never even trained boxing. Ooh, the girl splats her with a big right hand to the head. And then a body shot. So she's turned her head away, which is the worst thing you can do in boxing as well. She's crossing her feet from this position. Oh, this girl's trying to knock her out. You hear the referee there? Exhibition, exhibition. Which means you shouldn't be going hard like this. This is for charity. Did she win? I don't think so. All to your winner, Tamara Twenty to eighteen, so that means it was two rounds. But respect to Kim Kardashian for getting in there for charity and doing this. But if she does it again, she needs a better trainer. So this is Drake, one of the biggest musicians in the world. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> doing this fancy me with this stuff. I'm not a fan of that. He's turning his hips well. But if I'm working with him, the first thing I'm going to tell him is to keep his chin down. Look how high his chin is right here. And with that low left hand. Now I know this is for fitness and not fighting, but you still want to be practicing good form and technique every time. Musician 6'9". Has he even got gloves on? So he's in that self-pose stance. And to me, it doesn't look like he's done any boxing before. He's just been watching it on the TV. Ooh, gets caught with a body shot. Then he crawls out of way of danger. <laughs> Superstar actor Chris Hemsworth. I actually used to train Chris. And one thing I noticed when I was training him was how fit and how strong he is. How determined he is. How hungry he is. And he's got that body for a reason. Good form. Chin's a little bit high. But solid punches. Look good coach in there. And I'm impressed by Chris Hemsworth as I was when I was working with him. So now we've got one of the all-time great basketball players, Shaquille O'Neal, who's seven foot one, fighting the all-time great Sugar Shane Mosley. Wow, so look at the weight difference. He outweighs him by nearly 200 pounds with a 17-inch reach advantage. Look at the size difference. The battle set to begin. Shaquille O'Neal against Sugar Shane Mosley. They're wearing head guards because it's an exhibition. Oh, look at them bombs. And when you're in the ring with someone who's like 200 pounds heavier than you, their little punches feel hard. So Mosey's got to be wary of Shaq's power. <laughs> and he goes on his knees. Ooh. I'm telling you, if Shaq lands them punches on Mosey, it's going to really hurt. Mosey can punch hard as well. So Shaq's doing well to take these punches for him not being a boxer. Which is a tour to tour war. And right there, we can see the size difference. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that little fin by Shaq, like switching southpaw, then going forward, bop, 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 bop. I like it. He's got confidence. But this is just a toe-to-toe -to -toe scrap. Not seeing much skill here. Of course, mostly multiple weight world champion. <laughs> Shaq's face. Next up, we've got Ricky Gervais. Now he's here in the red head guard. He's one of my favorite actors, comedians, entertainers of all time. Oh, when he comes flying out with a big right hand. You, know, you would never think, seeing Ricky Gervais on stage, that he would ever be into boxing. But look at him having a scrap there. Oh, he gets caught on the back of the head and he falls down. No knockdown. Now, here's another clip of Ricky Gervais I found boxing, fighting Bob Mortimer. This is a charity exhibition fight, two comedians. Ricky looking for the big right hand. Like you see most novices do when they're in the ring, they're just trying to fire out that big right hand. Not really using his jab. 
the set punches up. Getting them against the ropes and just throwing punches non-stop. Wasting lots of energy. But look at him, look how game he is. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought that Ricky Gervais were his shirt off having a fight? I love it. Ooh, lands another big right hand. He's going for the kill, he's going for the stoppage. I wonder if he gets it. Let's fast forward it. Bob's just got his head down, throwing them punches, which you shouldn't be doing. Oh, nice. Another big right hand, then an overcut. Yes. Next up is a clip from my TikTok where I trained superstar singer Robbie Williams boxing. I worked with him for most of 2019 and here's a clip of me training him right here. And one thing about Robbie is he could punch really, really hard as you're about to see. And I was hoping he would go to fight with Liam Gallagher and beat him up. Look at that power. Boom, boom. Speed and power. I love it. Robbie is a beast. Oh, we got Snoop Dogg on one of the craziest looking bags I've ever seen. Throwing them hooks. Using that long jab, I like it. Snoop's got good form. Nice. I'm impressed. Hey man, look, listen, the Island man. Boys. Name a rapper that can really do this, you hear me? Name a rapper who can do this. So these guys must be rappers now. <laughs> Let's have a little look at that roll again. Look at that roll. Imagine if you were fighting someone and they put their head that low, what you would do. There hasn't been one punch come back to his face. Every single punch he's through has come down here. Making me think, is he making fun here? Is he really this bad? <laughs> oh, enough of this. Prince William, that's a lovely job. His right hand's up by his face. Oh, then he went to pot. He throws that one, two, and the one comes all the way back down to his chest. But he brings them back up. Nice, turning, rotating the hip, listening to the instructions well. Prince William can fight. I well, know we got Prince Harry doing a shoulder touch and drill. He's got good footwork on his toes. This is actually one of the best drills you can do in boxing. But what I would recommend in this is having your hands down. Because when you've got your hands down, you've got to use your reactions and your feet to move out the way. But yeah, I'm impressed. Prince Harry, with his suit on, with his gear on, good form like his brother. Nice. Kevin Hart here, comedian, actor, entertainer. He actually had a boxing fight in my gym with one of my clients, Antonio. It was a fight supposed to be behind closed doors, but Antonio brought all of his friends and he actually beat Kevin Hart. Let's have a look at his form. This is not bad. And Kevin's a very talented guy, so I'm not really surprised. Lovely double right hand. It's a hard punch combo to throw. Nice. And he's training here, Hollywood Rhino is legit. Working on good form, good technique. None of that fancy Mayweather crap. I like it. Next up, the Iranian Hulk. Look at the size of him. How the hell can someone with this physique throw punches? Just look at them lats, he's like this. Well, he did box, he had a fight, and let's see how it went. So this is some training here, and these look like the worst boxing gloves that I've ever seen any human being wear. Where the hell would you get some boxing gloves like this? Oh, that's bad boxing, bad body shots. Yeah, he's strong. Ah, shouldn't be letting someone punch you like that. Oh, that was a fake knockdown. Okay, let's see his fight. So the footage here is not very good. So the Iranian Hulk's the guy in the blue. He's fighting the Kazakh Titan, whoever he is. Look like he got hurt with a body shot right there, look at that. That was nice by the Kazakh Titan. Lovely pivot hook, let's see that again. Boom, pivot hook, knocks him into the ropes. Oh, and now that's what you can't do. Turn away when someone gets, punches you in the face. Look there, he gets hit in the face, turns away. Now can you think of a worse position to be in than this? Look at that, he turns his back. That's where you're going to get hurt, when you're not looking at your opponent. Surely this is not going to last very long. 
Doesn't look like he wants to be in there. But he's trying to give up now. Wow. Oh, he's spinning around. Oh, the guy fell over. Now he's fell over. <laughs> that was the biggest windmill I've ever seen in my life. Watch this. Look at that. Look where he's coming from. That punch. Whoa. Of course that's going to miss. Oh, and he's down and the fight's over. The Iranian Hulk needs a better coach. You want to see some crazy boxing training? Click here and watch this next. You'll not believe it. Click here.